Uh-huh. How are you there at home? Hope you're doing okay. My name is uh, Mr. Kisanya Magoma Anderson, a biology teacher from Moika Zonzo Girls. Uh, due to this COVID-19 pandemic, as a school of Moika Zonzo, we've decided also to engage our students there at home to assist them in revision uh, of biology. So we are so much humbled to at least take you through some topics in form 4. So basically we shall begin with the form 4 topic, which are for the first topic which is genetics. And uh, our discussion in this part 1 is going to focus on um, genetics. And our textbook we're going to use on this, this one, KLB, which has been provided by the government, at least to ensure that every student in Kenya who will be taken through biology at least have some understanding and are going to, we're not going to have a lot of disparities especially when you're going to test so welcome to this part one of uh, genetics while you're in school we already taught you so i'm just going to take you through some key concepts which will uh, form a foundation as we go by to discuss the core things which are most commonly tested in kcse so it is my belief that any student at this level in Form 4 is able to define what is genetics. So without wasting a lot of time, I'll just go and define it. Genetics is basically the study of variations. The study of variations. And how these variations are transmitted or inherited from parents to offsprings. So inheritance and variation, these are the core keywords that is going to form our basis of our discussion in this topic of genetics. So Perhaps maybe you've been wondering, as a student in school, we have a lot of variations, especially among learners. We'll find some students are tall, others are taller. We'll find some with the skin complexion, others are brown, others are light skin, others are dark skin. And you realize that if you trace those variations, it's coming from their parents. So, in genetics, we are focusing much. Why do we have variations among given why do we have variations among population? I want you to understand this based on the concepts of ecology in Form 3. We simply say that population is a group of organisms belonging to the same species. So why is it that we have individuals or organisms in the same species, yet they have variations and then after understanding what is variation again we shall focus on how are these variations transmitted from the parents to the offsprings so when we say by the way what is variation variations in a nutshell you can simply say is a is a possession of characteristics also this word characteristics has a did a lot of in-depth in genetics is the possession of characteristics among okay is the possession of characteristics in individuals possession of characteristics in individuals which are different. In other words, variation is a characteristic that is, occur is occurring in individuals and these characteristics are actually different. What are these characteristics? Talk about height. Height is a characteristic. Talk about weight. Weight is a characteristic. Talk about skin, complexion. This one is a characteristic. So if you look at in a given population, height of individuals vary, weight of individuals vary, skin of comple complexion, skin complexion of also individuals vary. So that's why as in genetics we want to focus much, 
how why are these variations and how are these variations passed on from generation to generation to generation so we have two types of variations we have two types of variation we only have we normally have continuous variation we normally have continuous variation then number 2 we have discontinuous variation let me add s here variation there is a key word which distinguishes continuous and discontinuous variation continuous variation simply refers to this gradual increase in differences among given characteristic there is a gradual gradual there is a gradual increase in difference among given characteristic let's say for example i'll pick this characteristic of height let's say we decide to measure the height of students let's say 10 students in schools in a school 10 students their height you realize that we shall have a gradual increase we shall have for example let's say the tallest student maybe could be maybe let's say this is just an example 4.0 meters then the taller student could be let's say 3.5 so realize that we realize that between 3.5 meters and 4 meters we have continuous increase continuous increase which is which is gradual we can have 3.6 3.7 3.8 3 3.9 so basically this one is now which forms now we say that actually the variation is continuous variation is continuous then when we only talk about the we talk about discontinuous variation now here in discontinuous variation for example you're focusing on a certain characteristic here we are, we are going no we're going now to have no intermediates in between you can see you have intermediates between 4.0 and 3.5 meters we have intermediates the intermediates are this one 3.5 3.7 3.9 but in this continuous variation we don't have intermediates this clear definite this clear definite in characteristics i'll pick an example like ability to roll a tongue even if they are at home if you want to roll a tongue maybe you can realize that maybe your father is able to roll a tongue your mother still also can roll a tongue but maybe your siblings cannot so we realize that is either you can roll your tongue or you cannot roll a tongue so this one forms a good example of discontinuous variation because there is no in be, there is no in intermediate between that someone can roll halfway someone can can roll it full way so that's an example of discontinuous variation another example of um, and this one are captured in our KLB which I want to give you as an assignment so make sure you go and see this is my assignment other examples of continuous variation and discontinuous variation So this is the end of our part 2. Hope as you revise you're going to capture more concepts and make sure you send assignment back to me. Uh I have an email which you can use to contact me which is kindersong799 at gmail.com. Make sure you do, make sure you any student there at home make sure is also able to view this because it will also help them in revising and any any area where you're going to have a problem kindly free to contact us thank you very much my students